M&A Advisors welcomes Carlos Morera, founder of WiseKey. Thank you for being with us. Tell us quickly Pleasure. what you do with WiseKey. I am the founder, you are the and, founder yes. uh, and the CEO of WiseKey, which is a sovereign security Swiss company uh, now moving into the United States. Which is why you're moderating our forum on cybersecurity. Correct. So We've spoken a little bit about the, the fourth uh, uh, industrial revolution, which is, of course, technology. Boy, cybersecurity must play a major role. Correct. So the fourth industrial revolution is actually happened. There was a subject of the World Economic Forum in Davos this year. And the thinking is that companies are becoming, from analog to digital, they are becoming platforms. So uh, a company then produces car is now a software company producing cars. So the software part is what connects those companies to the fourth industrial revolution. That's a total disruption as the market is totally changing in front of us. Sure. And the big opportunity is for companies that they will move faster enough to that fourth industrial revolution, they will have obviously bigger revenues and bigger advantages. What are the roadblocks? What, what keeps people from moving forward? Cybersecurity, because so we are connecting 50 billion objects to the internet. So everything is connected to the internet, your car, your house, your alarm system, your fridge. Mm -hmm. And it's just enough that one of those objects that do not have the right cybersecurity Security, then will be used as a Trojan horse to the entire yeah. infrastructure. So you have to put security at the device level. So we're talking about greater investment uh, at the onset, financially, uh, intellectually, in order to get products off the ground. Products will become more uh, smarter, uh, smart products, uh, smart cities are emerging. So that means that the products will take decisions themselves when they are attacked, and those decisions will be run by artificial intelligence without the need to have human intervention. And that is a paradigm shift. When we talk about cross-border uh, uh, companies that, that want to do uh, this kind of work overseas, I mean, obviously there are cultural differences, there are different mindsets. Uh, are there major barriers in trying to do this cross-border? Yeah. yeah, actually the number one barrier is legislation, you know, because um, some, some countries are very conservative in the way they want their internet to be uh, to be accessed, uh, like in China or Russia or others, uh, so that's the number one barrier. But, but on the other side, because IoT relates to objects and less to people, and the regulations are mainly on people, mm -hmm. personal data protection, identification, the legislation on objects will be run by the industry rather than by government, so you will have a big consortium of industry like car manufacturers, like uh, General Electric, like companies that they have huge needs of authenticating those objects to connect into the internet. So I believe the, uh, that that barrier will be less important in IoT. Okay, okay. it's a, a huge future ahead in this, oh my goodness. And huge opportunities. Great opportunities for businesses and even individuals as young people look for career outlets. Yeah. Absolutely. That was the person, you know, contrary to empowering the machine or the institution, young people can create now companies, IoT, cyber security companies with a very low cost and, yes. can, and they can be disrupted very fast. Yeah. Carlos, thank you. Carlos, thank you so much for stopping by. Carlos Morera, founder of WiseKey, we appreciate you being with us and being a friend of MA. Thank you very much. Pleasure.